All right. <laughs> Hi. I'm making sure that the audio is actually working, and I'm hoping that this will not drop out because there's a lot going on in the next stream. Our next stream. The next scene, as you will soon see. Uh, happy Saturday, everybody. Oh, please don't drop out. Um, Today, we are actually, or, or I am actually, um, just riff farming using this pretty cool scale, um, which is the Lydian mode. Um, and I worked on this uh, this particular idea a few months ago, and then recently I saw someone in the forums, in a forum that I belong to, post like, whatever song that you you got in a back burner, start working on how many unfinished songs that you have that need to be done. And I was like, ah, oh, quite a few. So today I actually have some time after teaching to get, um, familiar with my baritone. This is a berry guitar. This is not your standard, so it's going to sound a bit lower than your standard guitar. And uh, just going to shut out. So I've looped um, a cup, uh, just a section of a piece that I'm working on. Let me get over here. All right. And I've already kind of got the melody in my head. What you'll hear is not in Lydian mode, but when I put the other part in, you'll hear uh, that particular scale. But I'm hoping that this actually um, will go without any clipping and popping. It should. And let me see something. Because I'm fairly new to this interactive, I'm going to open up another uh, Facebook tab so I can see who's joined and then converse with you guys if you're out there. If not, that's cool too. Um, so, if I go to, yeah, I think I'm gonna have problems with this. I think there's too much going on. My computer is about to cuss me out right now. So, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to mute that and then click on this. All right, and then mute this and then have this over. Do I need this screen? No, so I'll just drag this over here then. All right, so then I have chat over here, and I'm going to just put a little test. It'll probably be just me uh, talking to myself. I can already hear the clicks and pops. This might be overkill, guys. My computer is doing too much. All right. Now that that's taken care of, let's get back to this. And make sure I have that. It's just going to go to the mixer every time I click on it. All right, so first, let me play what I've done so far. Um, I'll take out the synth, and it's just the rhythm guitars and the lead that I came up with. Uh, and I'm going to replay the lead because I wasn't happy um, on the ending. It's kind of basic, but I think it works against the uh, this mode that you'll be listening to. So let's check it out. So that's pretty much it. Um, but the whole point is to kind of get this idea here at the very beginning, fading it into measures 9 through 17. That's the whole idea. But I wanted to make sure that it jived right um, with this part here. So here's where the Lydian mode comes in. I'll play it real quick. And so for those 
that don't know about modes. Um, I think it's the fourth one. There's like seven of them. Uh, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian. And basically what that means is that you're starting, if you're playing a major scale, and let me, it's going to sound so goofy. So if I was playing a major scale, right? That's a lot of reverb. So let me take that off, right? So if I'm playing this again, this is a major, uh, I'm sorry, a baritone. So if I'm playing a major scale, right? It's uh that would be considered the Ionian mode out of the seven, right? And then from that, you have this, uh, the six other modes. All that, all it is is you're basically playing on the uh, a, the a particular degree of that scale and then continuing. So for example, if that was the major scale, which was Ionian, I would play uh, this. So I'm in drop, I'm saying I drop, I'm on my baritone. I'm treating this as a guitar. On a guitar, it would be A, okay? So this would be A Dorian. Right, still using the same notes uh, from the major scale, but you're starting and landing on a different interval. Cool. Now, with all that being said, uh, this is what I came up with. I'll just loop measures one through eight. And I'll mute the, the lead so you can just hear these two, or it's actually, um, it's basically the same idea, but it's an one's an octave different than the other. So you'll hear this. Now I can play that because I, I did, but I played this on my guitar and to play it on the, the baritone has proven to be a little bit challenging. So I had to slow it down to learn it and then get it back to tempo. So I'm not going to try to re-record this until I'm actually ready to flush out the whole song. The whole point of this particular video is just to uh, demonstrate how a particular melody can go over uh, a modal lead, I guess. So let's just hope this lead that I worked on jives with uh, the Dor uh, not Dorian, but the Lydian mode, right? So this is what I wrote, and we'll see. And then if it sounds good, then um, I'll re-record it. <laughs> think it works so the next step is just basically fleshing this out a little more on the the scratch track right so here is i'm gonna turn the i, I like the effect so i'm not gonna mess too much that's i mess up with that or mess with that too much but the volume over it so let's see i just turned the wrong one down let me bring this down a little bit more you can't see what i'm well you can you can see it and for some reason oh i don't have that engaged <laughs> Down, right? 
But my ear wants to... My ear wants to go down to... Oh, by the way, this is actually in B major. <laughs> um, but it sounds like it's in D. So this part actually sounds like it should resolve on, on D. And then back. Somehow I have to figure out how to get to D, right? So let me play along with this lead real quick. See, that works. landing there which is E so if, maybe if I go here from E to D right yeah. and you will hear a lot of bad notes a lot of them I, I land on on E and then just slide it to, to D, right? Let's see. Let's see if I can just remember it. Okay. So, <laughs> it's like the wheel was going on in my head, like buffering, right? So I'm not going to record over this. I'm going to actually mute that real quick. And then I'm just going to go over here from measure 9 to 17. Take off the well, they're actually off the mode guys, the 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 Lydians. But you'll hear these nice power chord guitars. I'm going from D to B. That's pretty heavy. Um, so let me do this. Catch it the next time. Here we go. catch it. take I call this the red light syndrome 
right? I can get it down without the record button, but as soon as I hit the record button and arm the track, it is mistake after mistake after mistake. <laughs> We're gonna try to break the curse this afternoon, right? All right, uh, take the loop off and let's see. If, if you guys are commenting, I can't see. Um, my computer doesn't like me having the chat screen up and the particular uh, DAW at the same time. So I'll have to respond afterwards. But if you are there, hi. All right. <laughs> Four counts and we're in. Here we go. See? I spoke. I spoke into an existence. And uh, I need to turn off the talk back because it's going to record that. So let's do this. gonna happen and it's all live so then you guys can say he is a wanker doesn't know what he's doing I'm trying folks <laughs> I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I know some parts were slightly out of time, but I can quantize the audio. Um, but I'll do that after the stream. So let me do this. And now, because I like how that sounds, I can take this part and remove it. Remove track completely. I was going to hit duplicate, so let me hit remove track. All right, and then... Just for now, going to copy and paste over to measures one through eight. And it did not do that because I didn't do that. All right. So let's see what it sounds like with these modes, right? And the whole point is, is to kind of have this going for a minute or not a minute, but a while. And this lead that I just played slowly creeps in. And then when we get to the power chords, uh, usually it'll probably happen at measure 17. But I had the initial thought, so I just throw, threw it out here. There's, this is not even arranged. Um, but it's the, the whole thought behind it is it's kind of fading in. Just keep that in mind.
I think it works. I think it works. All right. So I am halfway. No, no, I'm not even halfway tempted. I'm going to do it. I'm just worried about the performance. If you look at this bottom left of the screen, you can see that little left, uh, that le uh, I don't know what you want to call it, that level, it keeps jumping. And that's because I have so many plugins running on some of these uh, tracks, including um, instruments. My computer is freaking out. And so that's why I haven't loaded everything up. At, you see a lot of unsoloed tracks, right? They're all muted. Because I think what's going to happen is going to crash. Not crash the computer, but you're going to hear a lot of popping. But we're going to try it anyways. So I'm going to include the drums. And what I gathered, what I gathered from this, um, it's I think the idea works. I think these guitars here need, these guitars actually have to come up in the mix, right? Instead of me bringing them up there, I have another screen where I have my mixing console located, and I'm going to raise them up uh, over here. And those are the leads. So I can bring those up maybe about three or four dB. And then actually this lead part will be, I think, just a smidge down, maybe about two dB. Okay. But because I hear in my head that this doesn't, you don't hear this with the the melody right here, seven and eight. This doesn't come in fully until nine. I'm just, excuse me, I'm going to mute the uh, first eight bars of it. And then you'll hear when everything comes in. So I just put in the drums. I'm going to put in the bass. And I even want to raise up the... I even want to raise up the rhythm guitars too. So I'll raise them up about 3 dB. Let's cross our fingers that actually works and there won't be clicking and popping. Um, all right, here we go. Why did those drums sound so horrid? Oh, you know what? Let's do this because this is another, this is the other part that I was working on. And we'll just move these over out of the way. All right. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Cross, let's see if it does it. I think it works. Maybe, maybe this, if I do a little bit of EQing, right? Maybe if I bring this up just a little bit so it sits above the guitars just a smidge um, and I add a little bit more, like say mid-range to it, increase the mid-range, take some of the low end out, raise the gain just a little bit, then bring the overall level up about a db on the cabinet or not on the cab but the amp and then do this in small increments but the cool thing is it did not crash right i can still see um the stream is going so let's do it by 6.5 it's just a little bit of gain one more time and then we'll close <laughs>
crash, I'm happy. I know what will crash it, and this is... <laughs> you see track two right here, that thing called Omnisphere? This is going to make my, my computer cuss at me. Um, it's a synth, and I think it gives the this portion, this part, like texture. It's very ethereal and sounding. Um, on the uh, the insert, I actually have uh, this plugin called Replica XT, which is a delay. It's a really cool sounding delay, and then um, a little bit of reverb to make it sound ominous. So I know it's gonna it's going to cause havoc on uh, the machine. So this is the attempt with the synth. You see how it sounds, and it's very subtle, but you'll be able to hear it, especially from measure 13 on out where the chords are stacked. So, okay, here we go. Here we don't go. All right. Yep, I'm almost certain it's gonna do it. I'm actually surprised. I'm impressed with my beat up PC could actually handle it. Okay. All right, this is actually the the end of it. I wanted to see um how this would sound, everything being in stereo and whatnot. Um if my computer could handle it. And I do plan on doing this or actually doing a live session once a week god willing uh, but my end game my end game as far as the what i see myself doing is actually have guest writers uh, guest uh, musicians and and talk talk to them about their writing process and how they come up with particular concepts and ideas and what does that look like in completion so that's going to be the beginning of 2023 god willing all right, so thank you guys if you tuned in. Thank you so much. Tell someone you love them today, and I'll see you next time.